Welcome to State of Tech. I've got another LG G2 tip for you. I'm going to show you how to manage your apps. So we're going to come in here on the bottom menu. We're going to open up our settings and then we're going to come here to our general. Now when we're at general, we're going to actually come into apps right here. When we tap on there, it's going to load up all of our apps. You see we have some downloaded, we have apps that are running, and then we have all apps. Now what this is going to do is allow us to come in here and actually view and modify applications. So right here, this Amazon Kindle, if I were to tap on it, it shows me the version number, I can force stop it, I can disable it, I can choose not to show notifications, I can clear data, clear cache, and even clear defaults if I have any other sort of launchers. Now if I had actually downloaded some applications onto my device, I'd see some here in the Downloads tab, and I'd be able to uninstall them from this menu. It would be the same basic layout as here, so if I were to tap on this again, you'd see the same basic layout for any app that I've downloaded, but we'd also see an uh, uninstall button right here underneath Disable to actually delete the application off my device. And down here at the bottom, we can see all of our storage used. You see we've got 396 megabytes used, and we have 24 gigabytes free. So I still have quite a bit of room on my device to actually start loading up and installing applications. And then here in the running tab, I also can start force quitting applications. You see I can stop this system right here. So I'll go ahead and tap stop. It's going to give me a recovery system. Okay. And now it's going to go ahead and force quit that application for me. So in case my device is running slow or I'm running out of room, or I'd just like to disable some applications from running on my system altogether, I can do that from within inside this apps menu. And that's how you manage apps on your LG G2. For more LG G2 tips, be sure and visit stateoftech.net.